Josh Gold has a video up asking about us to uh, to share what's going on with our local economy, and I'm more than happy to do so. Now, um, a few of the questions that he has, I'm not really privy to the knowledge of you know whether or not businesses are are taking loans in order to to continue operations. I can say that the lean manufacturing uh, in this area. And also, now when I say this area, I'm, I'm referring to maybe the surrounding 100 miles. Um, lean manufacturing has, from what I've seen, it's expanded outside of, of just the factory processes and is extended into customer service to the point where, uh, for example, and maybe this is a dumb example, but the wife and I went to the movies last weekend and they only had like three people working the counter and the line just sort of wrapped around the movie theater because there weren't enough people taking care of the ticket takers. And the only reason why I'm thinking that is they were just, they weren't putting as many people at work that day. And it was the same story when we got inside in the concessions. Ironically, there were so few people that, that we ended up, instead of taking in a double feature, we just left. Um, and I think that's the, that's the danger of going to lean, lean manufacturing is that when you do so, you you risk compromising your customer service quality. And I think it's something that, that's been lost in, um, in, this lean, in this push to lean manufacturing. Because between the on-demand shipping and lean manufacturing, the cost has been uh, customer service. We don't have, we don't have the, the parts of the products as, as readily as we used to. Uh, we don't have the staff to take care of the, the customers as quickly as we used to. And because there's so few of us, we can't sufficiently take care of the customers. But we can't bring on new staff because we don't have enough customers to support it, you know? <sighs> so, yeah, that's, uh, that's my local economy. <laughs> there, are, uh, there are places that continue to seem to do well. Uh, Walmart, you see a lot of money going out. Um, people still seem to go to the movies. Uh, people still go to restaurants. Now, uh, restaurant attendance, we got an Outback and a couple of those other type, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't say upscale restaurants, but like mid-scale. They always seem to do well. And I always, uh, in my perspective, my limited perspective, I, I see the um, restaurant uh, patronage as being the first indicator of, uh, of, oh, what's the word for it? Uh, disposable income, you know, when, when nobody's going out to eat anymore, that's, that's really the thing. Um, now he asked specifically, are things better now than they were four years ago? I'm going to say yes. Uh, four years ago, it was worse. Um, now, Ten years before that, it was better, so <laughs> it's sort of tricky, but but Josh asked specifically about four years. Now, um, I also, in town, I see a lot of, a lot of places going out of business. Uh, there's a lot of empty storefronts. Uh, we, have, we have properties that, that began to be built in 2003 that have not been completed, so you have the, the, the foundation laid down and a bunch of plumbing sticking up through it. And stuff like that. Um, now, with that being said, there are still businesses that do open up. Um, you know, you can see the the money shifting around. I mean, there's money out there. Um, there's still people that that are buying new cars. Like we've uh, we've had some some relatively good sales, I would say, compared to you know four years ago when we weren't selling any cars. You know, they're up to. We're a small dealership, so there, and there are already, I want to say, over 30 to 40 units so far just in the new, uh, new cars. I don't know about, I don't know about the used. So, so that's been kind of, uh, kind of a slow increase. Now, um, what was the other part? The, um, Artificial um, growth, uh, 
I don't really know. Um, we resurfaced the roads in town recently, but I didn't recognize anybody that was working on the road, so I think they came in from a different area. Um, they're opening up a, a new big chain uh, parts house, and, uh, you know, stuff's getting built, and uh, I'm not really sure. Overall, I don't get the vibe that everything's healthy. Um, it's it's hard to find good people, and I'm personally not confident that if I left my work, it would be uh, easy for me to, to just go somewhere else. And it, that may not be the case, uh, but I haven't been out of work for uh, I've never been out of work, so I don't know. Um, now to take loans to, to continue operations, I think my place did that. Which I, I do see the problem. If if as a business, the formula that, that you're putting out there isn't working, uh, what would make somebody think that throwing more money at it uh, solves anything, you know? So you you, you increase your your debt load and 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 continue the same process, you know. I don't know. So yeah, uh, hopefully, I don't know, hopefully nothing. <laughs> I read a lot of your comments, Josh, real quick. I know I'm going long here. Um, I read a lot of your comments. A lot of the comments are interesting. Um, I, hope, uh, I hope we're going somewhere healthy with this uh, because, you know what, it's going to be a separate video. This one's, this one's going a little long. I'd hate, to, uh, I'd hate to piss off the people on here that take steroids. <laughs> Creative M2 is going to come down here with his large pecs and, and squish my head like a, uh, what do you call it? Grape. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Ron Vid Long, me no like poetry. You lift weight. <laughs> uh, see you bitches later.